Welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name's Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. I've got a new little knife set up here. I've got two PVC sheaths um, zip tied together. I have the my custom bolo parang with the very nice jute twine handle with rubber cement. And then I also have my Equinox knife, which is also a pretty nice bushcraft knife with a kind of a Kephart style blade, edge on one side. It has a jute twine cord that I reverse twisted for a handle, wrapped around. Absolutely a beautiful bushcraft knife. Then again, I have just two PVC sheaths. If I had some black paint, I would have painted the big sheath black too, but I don't. Uh, piggyback together. And then on the back, I have a real nice fire kit with fat wood, a lighter, rubber cement and a ferro rod in there so it's a guaranteed fire anytime now the the only diff disadvantage to something like this is the weight it's way too heavy the entire package weighs two kilos and an eighth maybe something like that so that, that's just about five pounds now that's way too heavy to take uh, in a pack but this is the kind this is the kind of thing I'm in the Philippines guys I'm in the junk got jungles all around me and if I was gonna go somewhere I would I would take something like this with me and maybe a shoulder bag with a canteen or something like that in it would it be about all I'd ever need but this would do this would do everything I could possibly need to do in a camping situation or survival situation so it would actually be worth the weight probably um, the only thing that would be better than this would be a slightly lighter uh, parang I have another one uh, a very old one the very first one that I made I got that down to one and three fourths pounds, and then put some sort of a smaller knife on here. I have a I have a piggyback system in the house on a different uh, parang. I can't remember how much it weighs, but that has the old hickory knife on it. But I think uh, if you could get some sort of a knife like this, a uh, parang of some 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 size, with say a, a more knife piggyback to it but the more sheaths really aren't very conducive to piggybacking I probably have to make some sort of PVC sheath and that would that would get the weight way down on it so that, that's so probably better and something you could maybe strap to the back of your pack maybe something like that but just something for you to, to look at this is an all-around safety kit the only, the only thing that would make this better again would be if it had if it had maybe a I have, I have a shoulder bag canteen pack too so this with the shoulder bag canteen pack on it maybe I don't know then you're talking seven pounds it's, it's still pretty still pretty heavy <laughs> so that's, that's that's pretty heavy to be carrying around but if you're out working and stuff and you know again camping whatever um, I, myself I, I sacrifice weight for things that I need just like if I was going to go, say my say my bug out bag. Now I'm I'm sacrificing two or three pounds to take a couple cans of chicken noodle soup with me and some rice. Um, yeah, I can get I can get like Lipton Lipton chicken noodle soup, which is like the most gross stuff in the world. But um, 
I would much rather have the Campbell soup and, it, and I would rather carry the Campbell soup just so that I had maybe two meals, two or three meals. I had, in fact, if I, had, if I had a can of Campbell soup and some rice, two of those, I could, that'd be, that'd be a food for a week for me. I don't, I don't need to eat every day, especially in a survival situation. And uh, the, the, the main key for you is water, especially in a place like this where it's so hot. But I'll, I'll let you go. I don't want to drag this on forever. Um, hashtag 22 a day no more. Go out, watch your back, guys. Go out, when, you, when you're out and about, watch your back. Have some fun. Go out. Enjoy yourself. Um, don't take things for granted, of course. Kind of mixed up here now. But just be safe, huh? See you later. Take care.